Welcome back everybody. We're looking at several maps today and this one here is called Farmer's Island. I'll let you pronounce the uh, name right there. We are doing this on Twitch and uh, got a few people in here that plays Farm Simulator and or streams it. We got some talent in here tonight. I am going to bring up the description. I'm not going to be able to do all the pronunciations for you, just the part that's in English and we'll kind of go over it. So this is 1.1, but I haven't ever seen it, so that's good. Animated objects has been added. New definition of land that can be bought. Remove many trees. Building a new residential area. Building a small people port. New outlets. New names for sales outlets. Introduction of opening hours of the vehicle dealers. So you go when you're supposed to go and... That's the only time you can go and do your business. That's fine. That's more realistic. Got some John Deere stuff. Customized shipping routes. Display of ship accident at the port. Interesting. Install small, nice scenarios on and in water. New languages. Dutch, French, and Italian. There's your credits. Make sure I get it off. I have already done this once today. And as always, I encourage chat to speak freely. And uh, I will share it and uh, share your views. That way it's just not my opinion. This is an interesting little map. You don't own everything. So you, got, you have that great big... Uh, combine there and the very first thing that went through my mind is we're gonna have great big giant monster fields and everything else in the world but it's not looking that way you own 17 18 16 you do have a house there's your animal dealer line station stuff really close you got a railroad silo we have railroad in it old sewage treatment plant port Lime stations down here at the port. You got a little road going on top of the ocean, looks like here, kind of like Key West or something. South Restaurant and Sawmill. Lighthouse North. Quarry. Pretty interesting looking little map. You don't have a lot of fields. Don't know if you can combine them or not to kind of increase your stuff. Looks like you're going to have some small farming. But seeing that combine, I just made it immediately within my brain that this is going to be a monster deal. You got tons of sell points. I mean, tons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sales points just in your grains alone not bad you're definitely gonna have good prices you do have contracts and you do have small equipment in your garage you got a truck all kinds of equipment nothing really custom you got a farm barn here So here's a look at your yard, shed, hi Robin, great big monster silo here, looks pretty nice around the yard, even though we just have like one tree type, I generally prefer a blend of trees, kind of makes it look a little bit more natural, your forest here, you just have like one tree top over here, which is great for logging, but it kind of misses that feel like it would be. There goes your train. So I kind of wish there's a little bit more of a blend of trees, possibly. Kind of give it like a more natural feel. Like this over here. 
like you can tell a difference right here along and what a few extra trees and a bush would make you got traffic so you got traffic spline have not seen any air thus far shop got a little inlet coming in off the ocean that's pretty cool these fields are really small got some roundabouts here's your bio plant looks like your fields can be joinable so you got some Bait side farming, a few over here as well. But I mean, what do y'all think as far as the trees and stuff goes? I know I harp on it a lot about how stuff should kind of look kind of natural. Does this look fine to y'all in this spot like this right here? In other words, if you're sitting here playing the game and everything, are you fine with it looking like that? Or would you like to see a little bit more blend of trees and all that kind of stuff? Find out if it's just me going nuts. Well, this is definitely unique. Well, we all got to start somewhere. So. Okay, now this one right here, this part right here, kind of got me a little bit stunned. I do like the fact that there's possibly a freeway on here. But I mean... Where y'all live and stuff. This is what I'm talking about. If you're on an interstate or you're approaching an interstate, the very first thing you do, you approach the interstate at interstate speed. You got a ramp that comes in off your road. Whereas right here, it's a dirt road, which would limit your speed. So, if it had a ramp there, it would be more natural. My opinion. Traffic's pretty heavy. You do got some hills on here. So, it's not completely flat. Here's your little lighthouse island. I mean, I think... And it has a little farm out here. But see, that's pretty cool. There's some things about the map that's pretty cool. Something like that right there is unique. We don't see it on any maps, you know, and stuff. So I think coming out here, if it just had a little bit more of a blend of trees, it would be killer. Robin says her island. Your train comes all the way out here. They take it out over. So, I mean, it is unique. It's pretty cool. And they are making changes to the map, fixing stuff and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, they are editing the map and trying to improve and make it better. Everybody has to start somewhere, so... But I do wish there was a few more tree types. So we got some mixed emotions about the map and chat. This just ain't just my opinion. I mean, some of this stuff is pretty cool. The layout is different. Oh, this is where you had your accident app. They got it all. 
Well, yeah, that's an accident, all right. I don't know how he managed that because I've never seen a barge be able to get up on a dock before, so they must have had a hurricane over here. Again, he got a little farm out here on the island, and it really don't look bad. And the idea is pretty cool. It just needs a little bit more uh, different types of trees, I think. Yeah. On this island, you got a couple more small fields that possibly could be joined or create you a really unique field out here. I think the map has possibilities. Like I said, this kind of resembles something like the Florida Keys. It's just, uh, and of course you got traffic on it. Right here feels a little bit empty. Could have a little bit more. So like I said, we got mixed reactions in chat. And I think it's just because um, maybe a little bit more polishing. But, I mean, the idea and the concept is cool. Kind of like here. It's it's nice to have a sail point down here, but half the dock is underwater. And coming up to this sail point, you're going to be a little cramped getting around it. To be able to get down here in a small spot to turn it around in. So it's kind of, you know, just, I'm not trying to bait it to death, but this is a road here. But it's small, it's a small pathway. It looks like somebody would walk down to get to here. So, I hate saying anything at all, but it's just... It has a lot of cool things about it. That's just it. And I think the map has massive potential. It's just... Maybe get some ideas from your group and stuff like that. And kind of go from there. So, that's kind of my opinion. And... Um, DB set looks great for console. So, like I said, we got mixed reactions in chat here on Twitch. So, that's part of it. It ain't going to be for everybody, but if the map maker liked it, then it's perfect for you. If you're open for ideals and stuff, there's what everybody had to say about it. So, good start. And um, take care and have fun, everybody.